Okay, everybody, so welcome back. This is Ian. It's the 11th of December, 2023. And this is part of a new series of micro courses, tiny courses that we're creating for inspirational authors and enlightened entrepreneurs. Essentially, everybody who wants to write a book that changes the world and, cha <laughs> and changes your life in 2024. Easy for me to say without choking, apparently, or not so easy. I should add. All right, so let's really quickly move into this short card set. All of these tiny courses we created using these micro uh, learning cards, which I love, and I recommend for those of you who want to actually use your own uh, courses to build your own author brand, sell more books, create more of a cohesive uh, sort of you know learning environment with your own readers, audience, and community. Uh, and if you're interested in learning how to do that, I'll share some great strategies with you in our tiny course community in 2024. All right, so uh, one more quick point about these here. These are all indiv individual uh, little mini courses that you can get access to that have some audio and video components uh, themselves. But in this a series of audio and video uh, recordings, I'm just essentially uh, recording videos of myself working through these kind of like in a slide format because otherwise uh you know i'd, I'd have to post uh, private links on youtube to these courses and i don't want to have to do that all right so number one your book is a bridge this is actually the entirety of the you know kind of ethos of our own book brand for 2024 a bridge book introduces an idea that invites or inspires an experience. And this is so incredibly uh, important. I'm not going to say this is my own, uh, you know, kind of, you know, sort of eureka insight or epiphany, but I think the way that we've actually uh, staged and staggered this idea is really, really easy for nonfiction authors to understand. And it's also a great way for folks who uh, in, in two different directions. In, it's a great way for authors who have published books already that aren't making money, that aren't selling well, that are sort of vulnerable, vulnerable or held hostage to just the book sales that come in from those books every month to actually completely transform the way they approach their book publishing business from an author uh, perspective to an entrepreneurial perspective. And it's also in the other direction, a great way for entrepreneurs to rethink about the transition or path to become an author, right? Your book is a bridge. It introduces an idea that invites or inspires an experience. The experience is actually what you offer your audience at the end of the book. And in most people's cases, most of the, the folks in our target market anyway, nonfiction authors who are writing for business, this is the real work you are doing in the real world already, right? And this is how your tiny book is actually going to make big profits. It's not some other kind of, you know, gimmick or, or sort of like, you know, get rich quick uh, strategy. It simply takes on board the notion that you're already doing something in the world that you're charging for. You're writing a book for business. Therefore, you're already providing some sort of something in the real world that you can actually use your book to scale. All right. And of course, this can be anything from, you know, working with you, you know, in person. This could be if you're a doctor, a dentist, a designer, a life coach, a therapist, uh, you know, anything that you're already doing in the world, an accountant, a plumber, it doesn't matter. If you're offering something in the world right now and you want to make a lot of money from your book, it's not by dint of selling a shit ton of books. It's by introducing a whole new generation of readers to your words and your work and then turning those readers into clients, right? So uh, whether you're offering a one-on-one -on -one 
sort of like a plumber, you know, or some or a life coach or a doctor or a mechanic or a tree cutter. It doesn't matter. A meditation teacher, you can offer an opportunity to work with you one on one an offer or an opportunity to, to do any sort of more immersive experience with you, a meditation retreat, a you know, an ayahuasca retreat in Costa Rica, a coaching cohort, a course that you're teaching, an event that you're leading or putting together, any other sort of program that you're involved in or offering yourself, a product, right? A something you're selling on Gumroad or something you're selling uh, on your own website or on, uh, you know, something, a physical product, a cause or community. I mean, there's a great opportunity to write tiny books that make a huge impact in the world by dint of promoting a cause, a call to action, or a community of other like-minded folks, a store catalog. Like, I mean, there are plenty of examples of folks who have built an e-commerce brand or business by dint of writing books that actually share their ethos, their approach, their you know ideas, or just simply promoting individual products within your catalog. Or finally, like a mission or a manifesto. Again, if you have a very strong feeling about the way in which the world ought to work, that it's currently not working as well as you'd like, a, a book is a great call to arms or a call to comrades to, you know, to sort of elicit and involve other folks who share your ethos and approach and ideas about how the world ought to be and to cultivate a community on that basis, all right? The whole sort of underlying idea here is people are inspired by words, but transformed through experiences or by experiences. I can teach you, I can write a book about meditation and teach you all the reasons why I think that it's been a life-changing experience for me and it will be for you. But unless you actually meditate, you're never actually going to be transformed. You're just going to be intrigued. And that's a distinction that really is significantly a difference. Same thing with lifting weights. If I, and I'm not really a weightlifter, but if I were to teach, if someone were to teach me all the benefits of lifting weights for someone like myself, but I never actually pick up a weight, I'm not going to add more muscle, right? That's very, very obvious and intuitive. And it captures this whole ethos and approach. You can inspire people through your words, but you only can transform people by offering them experiences. And the difference between inspiring an experience and inviting one is significant, right? So inspiration in this case refers to inspiring someone to want to lift weights or go on a meditation retreat or learn more about a new idea or a life philosophy or a new way of thinking about a problem or challenge or an exciting opportunity to upgrade their approach to living in the world this could be in diet it could be you know lifestyle it could be anything and working with anxiety you know it, it, there's really no limit to how this sort of idea can be applied to a book, right? You essentially want to inspire somebody to immerse themselves in a new experience. But the key here is actually inviting the, inviting the experience that you're inspiring with you, right? I mean, if you're writing a book for business and you don't actually offer the opportunity for your audience to immerse themselves in your particular experience, in your work in the real world, they're obviously going to seek it out from someone or someone or someone or somewhere else, right? If I want to teach you how to meditate or the importance of meditation, but I don't actually have something in my own you know, business arsenal of, of offers and opportunities to get to give you, well, you're going to be all excited and then you're ostensibly going to find someone else to take that next step. So by virtue of the fact that the money that most of us are going to make from our books, and when I say most of us, I'm talking like 99.9% .9 of people is through the work that we do in the world by building an audience, expanding our influence, cultivating a community and having offers that we, you know, sort of give 
uh, you know, to the folks who really want to learn more or to do a deeper dive or to immerse themselves more completely in our approach or ideas, that's actually where the magic of this process takes over. So you want to be able to both inspire the experience and you want to invite or offer the experience. You want people to actually have the opportunity to engage with your work directly after they've finished the book. All right, tiny books, big ideas, tiny books, big profits, tiny books, big experiences, right? This is really the sort of, you know, the approach that you want to consider when contemplating books for business in 2024 and beyond. You don't want to, you know, write this huge, you know, kind of master, you know, uh, you know, like once in your lifetime book that actually takes years to get published or never gets published. That's generally the experience that most aspiring authors have, right? They want to write a book and they think they got a data dump, all of their niche knowledge, all of their industry expertise, everything they know into that book in order to get it published and ultimately get paid for their work, right? The truth is you want to think small or start small, but think series or think scale. Tiny books, very, very narrow focus books that pop pains, that solve problems, that heal hurts, that overcome obstacles in the eye of your ideal audience or quintessential client community. I mean, I know this stuff so well by you know that these these sentences form in my head even though you know i'm not even reading these from the cards themselves i mean that's that that is really what you want to focus on as a nonfiction author in 2024 tiny books that inspire big experiences new experiences or just experiences that are more immersive that are more engaging than one could get in a book itself and you change the world and your life this way as an inspirational author and enlightened entrepreneur and business you know, person writ large, right? Our mission is to write books that create and create content and cultivate communities that make a meaningful difference in mental health, self-care, community wellness, mindfulness, spiritual growth, and enlightened entrepreneurship. Our motto, teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. That's really more of our manifesto. I hate the word motto for some other reason. I keep using it in public. But nonetheless, if you're interested in writing a book that changes the world and changes your life, I encourage you to come join us, come write with us. In 2024, we have a whole a series of 30-day cohorts for inspirational authors who want to write books and make a ton of progress in your personal brand, in your author brand, and in your book and content marketing business in rapid fire turnaround time. Thanks so much for watching. If you have questions, feel free to ask. You can also uh, join our course. Uh, our next one starts in a couple of days, and you can see more about that here. Thanks again, and I'll talk to everyone soon.